This is Redstone Homeschooling. I watch one of Generic B's Redstone Academy videos and then take what I've learned and put it into practice on my own, oftentimes with disastrous results. Hey guys, and welcome back to Redstone Homeschooling. I have watched Generic B's second episode, episode one of Redstone Academy. Uh, he did an episode zero, so episode one is my episode two. And what he talks about in that episode is redstone dust. Now, the one thing that I've learned about redstone dust in my own practice is that you do not want to snort that ever. Redstone is a hell of a drug. Uh, but the main kind of lesson here is that when you're operating with redstone, you can have first and second degree burns. Ooh. And I made these little guys because they look like little friendly friends. But what's happening here is when you flick the lever, uh, this block gets powered, and then this guy right over here lights up, which this one's a first degree burn, I think, because it comes out and shoots me right away. Uh, I'm not really clear on that all. And then this one is kind of placed a little different, but you still, oh, you still burn. It's always a burn, really, um, kind of no matter what happens here. So, yeah, um, I learned something there. <laughs> now, the second thing that he discussed, uh, and I'm just going to switch my game mode here. Oops, there it is. Um, when you flick this lever here, all of these blocks, because what I've got is a redstone dot right in the middle here on top of this guy. When you flick this lever... This piece of redstone is going to get powered and send power to all of these other guys over here. Uh, and in turn, all of these lamps are going to turn on. So, I guess it's just one kind of big-ass nightlight. Um, but what I did was I tried to make my own one of these. So let's head over here. And, oops, it's already on. Let's flick that switch off and on. And there we go. Very tasteful very cool and then what's happening here is when you flick the switch the redstone power gets sent out across the line every red block is the you know the direct powered block the first first degree it's not burning me this time though so we'll see about that but then the blocks connected to it directly adjacent get powered so these guys right here kind of at the base and all the way up here at the tip this guy lights up as well um, and then the guys on the sides here, they're just kind of sagging off. They don't really get any power. Um, what is that, a T? Yeah, that's a T. It's a big, big, huge T. Um, so as far as redstone goes, uh, the other thing that I kind of made over here was this little guy. Um, and I guess the lesson here is that you know, kind of in the way that redstone lies. So when re two redstone dots do not touch each other, they will remain dots. But the second you lay any bit of this out here, it becomes a cross. So that's kind of interesting in the way that redstone dust directs its power. Uh, because, like, if we have this guy over here, and let's say we had this guy here, because the redstone is leading directly into it, when you flick this little wiener here, power up, baby. Take him away. All of a sudden, this guy is left dark and alone. Now, the other thing about it is that if you zoom in and out on this enough times, you will start to bleed out of your eyes, which is real nice. So, I think I really uh, took a lot out of this particular lesson. And what I did kind of... Uh, as my own little surprise here, just to show you guys how well I'm learning, is I wanted to make my own little redstone dust message for you. Redstone! Red... Stone. Red storm. Redstone. Son of a bitch! <laughs> 